with two enormous problems that are increasingly threatening the good life of many nations include the task of waste management and inadequacy of energy supply. The nation's inability to dispose waste and to find enough energy greatly affects living conditions. The problem of forced scarcity and sewage disposal in Nigeria and many developing countries is alarming. Energy generated from waste is therefore needful as it will serve the dual purpose of cleaning the environment and providing a cheaper source of energy. In Nigeria, the use of waste from organic matter, though important, has been relegated to the background. There are abundant agricultural residues and municipal solid waste, whose potentials are yet to be fully tapped for energy generation. Experts advise that the possibility of using such waste or biogas production should be explored. The raw materials used in commercial methane generation include plant residues, animal waste, like cow dung and various urban waste which are available in Nigeria. Biogas technology has advantages which include generation of storable energy sources, production of a stabilized residue that can be used as a fertilizer, an energy-efficient means of manufacturing nitrogen-containing fertilizer, a process having the potential for sterilization which can reduce public health hazards from fecal pathogens and if applied to agricultural residues, a reduction in the transfer of fungal and plant pathogens from one year's crop to the next. So government should look at, you know, biogas technology for the, for the rural areas, this off-grid thing, and where people in the, in the rural areas can have their own, their own grid, their mini grid, and manage and generate their own electricity, generate their own fertilizer, and they manage it, and it can provide, you know, employment, you know, opportunity. And while we are, you know, we are, we are trying to, you know, uh, come down on our foreign, um, uh, our, our foreign, foreign exposure in terms of, you know, importing equipment uh, for the power industry, you know, where you will look, use our locally, you know, you know technology and, and all that. So it's a very good uh, source of energy for the rural areas where a community, maybe 500 houses, 100 houses, can have their own system and they use the biogas for cooking and electricity production because we have the resources. The weather favors this technology because the, this system works very well in in a, in a very good amount temperature from 30 degrees to 35 degrees and and we can do very well like Germany from this biogas Germany generate over up to 4000 megawatts from 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 biogas systems so Nigeria has the potential of generating up to 10000 megawatts from from from, from biogas because we have the resources in sub-saharan Africa most households rely on traditional cook stoves for cooking with some 900 million people estimated to rely on traditional cook stoves by 2020. Although the picture in urban areas is different, the number of people reliant on fair wood for cooking in rural areas where consumption is much larger due to lower clean cooking access hardly changes. Rising incomes produce only a gradual shift in cooking fuels and the technologies used. Uh, Africa having even the uh, uh, largest world population, which is mostly the 13 percent, but it endows uh, a very, it generates a very low, uh, less than 4 percent of the electricity where it covers the uh, whole uh, population in Africa. So why this is happening? Because uh, one is there are certain uh, factors that really impair uh, because uh, first of all, uh, you know, we, the investment and also the right policy, uh, and also the clear and coherent uh, institutional and regulatory uh, framework. Uh, when we see, for example, uh, Africa really endowed more than 1,000 gigawatt of the wind resource and the 10,000 gigawatt of solar. And if you see the great East African Rift Valley, it endows uh, more than 20 gigawatt of geothermal resource. But we see now the, we are really uh, suffering for, from power shortage. And particularly nowadays, you know, there is a, an, a significant increase of economic growth in Africa. And there is a high demand for energy to go ahead. So 
the African governments are really looking for having this development of this renewable energy resources, and they are ready to uh, revise their policy and also regulatory framework in order to attract private investment. Because all renewable energy requires the intensive, uh, also the uh, investment in terms of uh, public-private partnership and independent power uh, producers. <coughs> Smoke from cooking with traditional cook stoves results in 600,000 deaths in the region each year, with an estimated loss of 2.8% of gross domestic product, which includes $29.6 billion in lost productive time spent on fuel gathering and the cooking process. Biogas for cooking can help address these health and economic issues and reduce solid fuel use by 66 to 80 percent, even though biogas systems have high upfront costs of $500 to $1,500. Lifetime costs are the lowest among cooking technologies. The, the price is, is really affordable and um, it should be around um, $100,000 or nearer to acquire and if you have constant uh, source of, of manure, you are, you are fine for about 20 to 30 years before um, you can probably need the replacement of the reactor because the lifetime of the reactor, the lifespan of the reactor is about, is about uh, 10, is about 50 to 20 years. Cooking stoves based on biogas and other sustainably produced renewable fuels can greatly improve health and welfare. Over 3 billion people worldwide currently use traditional cook stoves fueled by wood or charcoal. Roughly 50 million biogas cook stoves have been installed worldwide, and the number is growing at about 10% annually. China leads the world in biogas digester installations for cooking, accounting for over half of all installations globally. African countries, specifically sub-Saharan countries, also would stand to benefit from their uptake. Biogas is among the environmental friendliest and cleanest of all cooking technologies and outperforms traditional cook stoves in several ways. Because this is a renewable source of energy and uh, we, are, we, are, we are aware that uh, um, uh, climate change is uh, it's, uh, it's a very uh, important subject in the, the global community and uh, it poses a great threat to the to the future of, of, our, of our children and into the world you know, at large. So biogas, um, syst uh, biogas um, or system or biogas um, uh, um, uh, system uh, uh, as a whole, it's a, it a renewable source of energy which you know, helps to improve the environment. Because from where we you know, were coming from, from the farm, we saw the, the cow manor, you know lying away and you know, being decomposed and it emits methane into the into the atmosphere, and that methane is uh, is 21 times, you know, potent than uh, than uh, carbon dioxide, which is the you know the major greenhouse gas. So the capturing of this of this methane for use for cooking and energy production helps to you know to you know to improve our environment and protect um, our our environment. Upgrading to biogas from a traditional cook stoves improves indoor air quality, reduces deforestation of otherwise unsustainable sourced fuel wood, reduces cooking time, treats waste that otherwise would rot, and provides organic fertilizer from the digester residue, replacing fossil fuel or traditional biomass fuel sources with biogas furthermore reduces emissions while improving the air quality. Although the combustion of biogas produces similar emissions to LPG, the foregone emissions otherwise resulting from biomass decay results in a better net environmental performance for biogas. In an age of worrying climate change and looming fossil energy decline, the benefits of biogas are obvious. It is a renewable energy source with zero net greenhouse gas emissions, and yet its potential has largely gone untapped, at least here in Nigeria. That's our program for the day. Thank you for watching. We hope to hear from you. Our inbox set file at channelstv.com is always available for your comments and questions. We'll see you next week.